Welcome to this video where I will show you how to make this animation of assembly connection in exploded assembly workbench. Uh, how can you see? We have the four different details with difficult um, trajectory of this detail in video. So uh, let's open the FreeCAD and activate the Sketcher workbench. And here we have to create um, XY plan with our sketch. Let's create two details for our connection here. So let's create the rectangle and set the lens horizontal and vertical lens here. And let's create another rectangle and make the trim operation for these lines. Okay, and for th these lines we will delete. And um, now let's set the dimensions for this. It will be horizontal lenses. This lens will be put automatically and let's set um, the dimension for these two points. It will be vertical dimension, the thickness of bottom part of this detail. And after that let's go to part workbench and let's make the extrusion operation. Let's set the 50 millimeters thickness and we have got our one part of connection detail. Let's make the copy of this. Control C, Control V. Delete the extrude operation from here and make the edit sketch. And here we have to change the sketch for our connection. It is fast approach, copy, paste. <coughs> Let's hide our extrude you can make it using space bottom on your keyboard and let's create the lines for our upper side of connection details and for this line let's set the vertical constraint after that let's make the thickness of the upside part of our detail we cannot make it because we have the false with constraints let's delete the 25 constraint and after that we can set the dimension here and let's delete these lines from our sketch we can try to make the trim operation but it doesn't work just uh, click to the line and make the delete on your keyboard. Okay, after that let's make the close our sketch and make the extrusion operation in part design part workbench here. Okay, let's set the 50 millimeter thickness and now we have two different bodies for our upside and bottom side part detail. Let's create one else sketch here. It will be the hole for, for our details. Let's hide our extrude. You can, use, you can make it using the space bottom on your keyboard again. And let's set some radius for this <coughs> and set the position of this center of your hole but uh, if we will show our geometry we have the thickness 50 millimeters how I remember and uh, let's just change our lens 25 it is will be half of our detail 
k and set the radius 6 millimeters and now let's make the dimension for our horizontal position choose these two points and set 50 millimeters let's close the sketch and now uh, let's check where our uh, sketch here and let's go to let's make the copy ctrl c ctrl v of our sketch and go to the part workbench and let's make the extrusion operation for our sketches here for one sketch and for second sketch with 100 lens okay after that let's make um, the boolean operation it will be the cat operation I choose our part for connection and the cylinder and make the cut tool and now let's go to the view properties of models and set the transparency how can you see here we have the two details with holes let's go to the view properties appearance and let's change the material for our details here and make the some tr transparency so now um, let's go again to the appearance and set the point and lines thickness here how can you see it looks more photorealistic more nice i think and you go to the fastness workbench you can download it from engine manager and let's choose the edge of our hole and make the screw tool for this after that let's go to the screw data property and make the invert it will change the direction for our thread and let's activate the thread view from here you will get the full model of our screw of course you can to find the some tutorials from my channel for the fastness workbench where i will show you how to make the some connections using this workbench so let's change uh, the lens of our screw set 90 millimeters lens here so it looks good and let's choose this edge of screw and create the nut but for this edge our nut m8 let's change it m12 and it will be it will correct okay so let's change the position of the nut on our screw so it near of the wall for our connection details and go again to appearance property let's change the material with edge lens and now uh, we have complete to creation of our connection of two details so let's go to exploded assembly you can download it from Eden manager and find some basics tutorials from my channels also okay and here let's choose the surface and create the simple group in simple group you can find um, let's run our animation and you can find the some properties of this um, animation you can change you can 
uh, change the distance for our trajectory line it, if we will run the animation we can see that our nut go um, in 30 millimeters lens okay and we can also make the revolve but our animation very fast let's make it more slower and for this we can change the time step and number of steps this uh, number of time steps uh, looks um, more slower and we can see the rotation of our nut for our screw and let's ch choose this surface for our screw and I will try to paste our directory line but it here it did work I think okay so yes it works and let's change the animation properties here also for our screw let's choose it again and set some distance I think 100 millimeters distance is enough let's check it okay how can you see we have made animation for our screw and nut and it works correctly okay now let's make the animation for these two parts of our connection let's make the simple group for this surface and set the distance I think 40 millimeters and set the property of animation speed okay let's run the animation how can you see we have the animation for three details here and let's create for the surface one else simple group let's set the default uh, animation speed settings and run again our animation here <coughs> so ma now uh, we can make the complex uh, animation trajectory for our details you can choose this surface for example and create one else simple group and let's change the distance here let's set the 40 millimeters and a default settings animation and if you will run the animation uh, but you can also create a simple group for this surface also let's set again 40 millimeters and run animation okay how can you see our animation is complex in different directions okay let's set the uh, speed animation for last simple group okay and we can to make another way to our animation and one else um, very important trick uh, for animation I will show you you can to change um, uh, you can set our um, last animation uh, and change it in position in the tree and make it before your for example for this four simple group and three simple group you can set the four simple group before three simple group and it will change the animation direction okay let's try it and you can see the animation works for any for each uh, detail separately okay let's uh, set the transparency for example you can increase it and you will get 
the animation without some um, bags in view with light I think okay okay it the animation looks good and let's to return our previous transparency property okay let's close it thank you for watching subscribe to the channel goodbye